And boy, did he respond, Corey. Josh Boone with that double-double. Just what he needed. Yeah, definitely. He hasn't had the best season. But at some point, it was bound to click. The pressure on the rim, and Josh Boone just knows where to position himself. Now, Damien Martin likes the look and likes the finish as well. Looking at that team, they don't have a lot of depth in that four spot court. What a huge opportunity for Perth. So many critics, such pressure, but to come and beat the ladder leaders will quieten those voices. It's a three point line if you're Trevor Gleason, you're happy with the defense the Wildcats have shown so far. Hey, the soft touch. If you missed the news on DJ Kennedy, he was parked at an intersection when another driver plowed into the back of him. Here's Bryce Cotton. Very smoothly, Corey. That, that, that engine definitely is running smooth right now. We can see him get that transition dunk. Driver just plow into the back of his stationary vehicle. He didn't know what hit him quite literally. Glad he was uninjured and he's back. Talk about being back. Maybe Bryce is back. He seems to get once every game. Every single game. I mean, you've got to contest it. <laughs> Norton goes hard at Ware and draws the foul. The two will count a possible three-point play for Mitch. Norton was an underrated penetrator, one of the better penetrators at that guard position. That time, Casper Wick got beat. No help on the weak what? side. you got to like the form that he's showing currently. Shot clock to five. Bryce Cotton has a look, goes it alone, looks at it fall, and he will again. Does it better than Bryce Cotton. They're just going to have to stop contesting him. Just let him shoot the three. You know, and it's David Barlow's third as well. They're going to come in here with Craig Muller. But Bryce Cotton kick it out to their shooters. Bang. Tariko White gets to the board. In a league where it's, what have you done for me today? Well, I only recently found out about that bet you made, Corey, and, and now I understand why you were so upset when they were 10 and 1. Who wants the momentum into the halftime break? It's there to grab. Golding off and running at Cotton, but Kay swats him from behind. Moller follows up. He can't score. But the game impressively. A couple of threes from the Wildcats' favorite. And veteran, Tariko White, ice cool. It's against Cairns on one of six from the field. He'd made just three of 23s over his last 11 games. Coming to this one, no wonder he was relieved. Tariko White goes back to Brand. Now Martin in the corner. They want to baseline through Nick Kay. It bounces around the rim and drops. Two guys playing a little two-game game. Craig Moller hasn't missed a game since joining United in his second season in Melbourne. He's on the floor. And White offs for Cotton. The two imports as Cotton in front of Casper Ware. Doesn't he love that? Doesn't the Army love that? Cotton through the keyway for Kay to dump two. Amid all this noise, let's find Patty Sweeney. Talk about big shot. Barlow comes up with a big one after Mitch McCarron missed a wide open one. Cotton up to 27. He was efficient on Thursday night, but just struggled to back it up. Can Tariko get going here on cue? He must have heard us. For the difference, less than 90 seconds to play. Jesse Wagstar fills it up for three. 